Brian Priest, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. Kicking off week nine in the NFL, you got the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Red Hot Jets, and I'm going with the Colts, 35-32. And then now you go to Sunday at 1 p.m. You got the Cleveland Browns taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Give me Cincinnati losing by eight points. And a close one there. Uh, you got the Denver Broncos taking on the Dallas Cowboys. This game right here is going to be a lot closer than the experts think, but Dallas up top. But now you got a loser game. The Houston Texans and the Miami Dolphins. Miami wins 23-22. But next, you got the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints, a NFC South game. And I think the Falcons come out on top 27 to 13. But after that, you got the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the New York Giants. Raiders win by 10. Not even close. But next, you got the New England Patriots taking on the Carolina Panthers. These are two teams going off big wins, and I think New England is just the better team in a win by a point. But now we got the Buffalo Bills taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Give me Buffalo by 24. But now you got the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Baltimore Ravens. This is going to be one heck of a game, but I think Minnesota on the road will prevail and shut down Lamar Jackson, winning by three. Now you got the Chargers and Eagles. Give me the Chargers by 10. They are playing pretty bad right now, and they're going to look to turn things around against the Eagles in week nine. And you got the Green Bay Packers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Give me Aaron Rodgers and company. They're way better. Now you got the Arizona Cardinals taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Kyler Murray probably going to be out with a sprained ankle. Give me Jimmy Garoppolo and company. San Francisco wins. Sunday night football, the Titans and the Rams. My game of the week, Titans win by two points in a close game. And then rounding out week nine on Monday night, you got the Chicago Bears taking on the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I think Pittsburgh wins at home by seven and defeats Chicago.